Hi folks, this is Shafiq. We recently implemented vector similarity search with Redis KVLD store. Redis supports array data types by default and we are able to store vector embeddings in the values in that way. But we had to write Lua scripts to find the vector similarities. Also, this applies exact nearest neighbor or k nearest neighbor instead of approximate nearest neighbor. That's why that approach is not going to work for large scale data sets. Instead of this, in this video, we are going to use Redis search module of Redis KVL store and apply approximate nearest neighbor algorithm to find similar vectors. In that way, we are able to scale our application on large scale databases. In summary, we can store billions of vectors into our Redis KVL store, but we can still find the similar vectors in milliseconds. Before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. In this experiment, we are going to need Redis K value store and also Redis search module. That's why I'm going to use Redis Cloud. Firstly, I'm going to create a subscription and here I'm going to use fixed plan because this is free and I'm going to use 30 megabyte database because it's free. Let's name the subscription for this subscription. Thereafter, I'm going to create a new database. Here, the important thing, you should select the type of this database to Redis stack because Redis search module comes with Redis stack by default. Let's name this database to Redis database. Here, you are going to change your default user's password. Let's activate this. As you can see, Redis search comes with Redis stack and I'm going to use this module. Also, I'm going to use this endpoint address to connect my Redis database. And finally, this connection requires this password. I'm going to import the Redis package first. Thereafter, I'm going to initialize my Redis client. R is equal to redis.redis. And here I'm going to set post as this value from the endpoint. Port is going to be this port number. Thereafter, password is going to be, let's find out from here. And finally, I'm going to set SSL argument to false. Here we can check the connection of Redis client's ping command. And as you can see, this returns true. This means connection is okay. As a use case, I'm going to use DeepFace library for Python to represent facial images as vector embeddings. And as a data set, I'm going to use its unit test items available in this folder. That's why I'm going to import the operating system model of Python first. Thereafter, I'm going to find the vector embeddings. Here I'm going to call operating systems walk function and set the unit test item folder, which is the face tests and data set. And as you can see, walk function is going to return directory path, directory names and file names. Thereafter, file names is a Python list. That's why I'm going to build another for loop here for file name in file names and image path is going to be directory path plus file name. Let's print them first. As you can see, some non-image files are available in this folder. That's why here I'm going to check image path has .jpg extension. Now I'm going to represent those facial images as vector embeddings and then store them in my Redis k value store. To represent an image as vector embedding, I'm going to use deep face package. That's why here I'm going to import it from deep face import deep face thereafter i'm going to call that deep face package and call its represent function here image path argument is going to be image path itself thereafter model name is going to be facenet for this experiment and finally detect backend is going to be empty cnn to have robust results and represent function returns a python list and if an image has two faces thereafter the length of the result is going to be two that's why i'm going to access the first one always and get its embedding this is going to be my vector embedding and let's create embeddings list before that for loop here i'm going to store image path 
and also vector embedding. Now we are going to store all vector embeddings into our Redis K value store. Let's build a for loop here for image path and vector embedding in embeddings list. And K is going to be image path. I'm going to simply that with dash character and get its last item. And value is going to be embedding. But I need to convert this to byte array because embedding is a Python list here. Let's see k value k and value here first as you can see k is going to be image 22.jpg and this is going to be my vector embedding now i'm going to convert this vector embedding to numpy array first thereafter bytes array second i'm going to import numpy dependency first import numpy as mp thereafter here value is going to be numpy.array i'm going to pass embedding as input Thereafter, I'm going to set its type to numpy.float32 and finally here call to bytes function. Now I converted this vector embedding to bytes array. Now I'm able to store this k value store into my Redis. Now we can call Redis client dot set and pass k and value arguments, but value argument is going to be sent via mapping argument here and this is going to be a dictionary and let's send it with embedding k this line is going to store each vector embedding into a redis database one by one instead of this we can create a redis pipeline and as arguments i'm going to send transaction as false thereafter here i'm going to use same command for pipeline and after this for loop i'm going to call pipeline dot execute and let's set this to pipeline results. Our old case and values are stored into our Redis K value store. Let's check them with Redis client.case. As you can see, this command is returning all stored case. Next, we are going to create an index. This is going to build a hierarchical navigable decision tree. And in that way, we are able to perform approximate nearest neighbor. As I mentioned, this is going to apply hierarchical navigable small work. I'm going to call Redis client full text and create index command. And here I'm going to pass a Python list. I'm going to import the vector field of Redis from redis.commands.search.field. And here I'm going to import vector field i'm going to use vector field here and all vector embeddings are being stored with embedding k in my redis database that's why here i'm setting embedding secondly i'm going to set the algorithm and as i mentioned i'm going to use hierarchical navigable small world this is going to build a decision tree and in that way i don't have to search the query vector among all vectors Thereafter, I'm going to create a dictionary here and here I'm going to set some configuration information. For example, type is going to be float, float32 because I converted each dimension value to float32. Then number of dimensions is going to be 128 because FaceNet model is producing vector embeddings with 128 dimensions. You can check it from here get any index from embeddings and get its second index value because the first one has image name and this is the vector embedding i wonder its length that's 128 that's why here i'm setting 128 and finally i'm going to set the metric for the similarity distance underscore metric is going to be l2 for Euclidean L2 form. Instead, I can set cosine similarity here. By the way, here there's a typo. This should be HNSW because it's a acronym of higher article navigable small world. Now we can create our index here and it returns OK. So our higher article navigable small world algorithm is performed. And when we are searching a vector among our vector embeddings, approximate nearest neighbor algorithm will be performed. Now I'm going to prepare my query vector. Target path is going to be 
target jpeg this is the target jpeg and i'm going to represent this facial image to vector embeddings and i'm going to search the nearest vectors of this query vector among the face unit test items please notice that this image is not available in my facial database that's why I'm going to find the nearest neighbors. Here I'm going to call the face represent function again and this time image path is going to be target path and I'm going to use the same configuration for model name and detector backend. Here I'm going to access the first faces embedding okay and this is going to be my target embedding. And finally I'm going to convert this to byte array because this is Python list numpy dot array target embedding setting its type to numpy float 32 and finally i'm going to convert this to byte array and this is going to be my query vector now i can search this query vector with approximate nearest neighbor algorithm in redis here i'm going to have base query first and here i'm going to start equal to arrow and in a bracket here I'm going to define k nearest neighbor and define the number of neighbors. Let's set it to three. And I also I can set k value is three here and reference that k variable. Thereafter I'm going to get embedding with dollar sign and reference from query vector because I'm going to send this query vector as an argument. And let's set its alias to distance. Thereafter query is going to be I'm going to import query from Redis. Redis.commands.search.query import query. Here I'm going to use that query object and set base query as my query. And this is going to return return fields. Let's return distance. And also I'm going to sort the distance values. Sort by distance. And finally, here I'm going to call dialect and set this to two. And results are going to be redis.fulltext.search. Here I'm going to pass my query. Thereafter, query parameters are going to be a dictionary. And here I reference query vector. And this is going to be my query vector. Now I have the results for result in results.document. Let's print result. This should be document, sorry. As you can see, the nearest neighbor of my query vector is image 5.jpg. Remember my query vector at image 5.jpg is the portrait of Angela Julie with score 42.7. The second nearest neighbor is image 7.jpg. It's the portrait of Angela Julie too. And the last one is image 10.jpg with score 50. So in this video, we used Redis K value store and its Redis search module to run approximate nearest neighbor algorithm. In that way, we can find a similar vector of a query vector among millions or billions just in milliseconds. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.